store has been permanently closed. I feel stupid because I should have known. This video is of an Etsy seller that got basically shut down pretty much overnight. And I wanted to really use this as an example of what can happen if you do not follow the guidelines. And I'm gonna actually watch this video along with you. Now I won't watch the whole thing, I'm just gonna skip to the parts where she's explaining what happened. So this way here, we can really identify what the cause is and this way you can prevent this from happening. I've said this so many times here on the channel. If you are riding the line with selling trademark stuff, I'm telling you right now, Etsy is not playing games. And this here is a perfect example. And this lady is devastated and I feel really bad for her. So let's listen to the video and then I'll be coming back in to kind of give you my thoughts. So this way here, we can hopefully prevent this from happening to anyone else. Maybe the universe is trying to tell me that this is not what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so clearly I don't even know where to start. Um, because mainly, I just... I mean, that right there, I mean, that crushes me. I mean, it breaks my heart because I can tell that this lady is really, really upset. I mean, I can see her hands shaking and she's upset. And I just think of someone that, you know, is in my life. If they were facing this, I would feel horrible. But again, this could have been prevented. So let's keep watching. I'm trying really hard to keep my together right now. Um, so mainly I just feel like I fail again, I feel very failure ish really. And really stupid too at the same time. Um, okay, one thing I want anyone that has ever done anything that feels like they failed, it's totally normal and you have to learn from that. So I just wanna throw that out there. Yes, she's calling it a failure. We've all had failures. It's what do we do after the failure? And you're gonna hear a little bit more on that here a little bit later. Because it's one of those things that is like, I should have known better. And I still went ahead with it. And um, that is kind of why it feels like so stupid. If I was somebody else talking to myself, I would be like, well, obviously, like, why did you do that? You know? Um, so I just kind of want to give you guys a background of maybe me just trying to. Okay. This part, she really kind of loses it. So I'm going to skip to where she starts explaining what happened. So in the editing of this video, I realized that I was ranting a little bit too much about my previous failures, and I really want to stay focused on why this one in particular failed miserably. So I want to stay focused on that. So in my Etsy shop, I was still um, selling some of my own designs, which were like my watercolors, and um, but that wasn't quite working. I had Etsy ads on, and then through my research, it was like, oh, you just need to find like the small niches. If you're a new store, you need to find small niches, blah, 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 blah. Be careful about trademarks. Be, everybody's like, be careful about trademarks. Don't do anything Disney. Don't do anything like Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, great. Yeah, I'm not obviously not going to do any of that. Yes. That is something that I've been preaching for a long time. And I'm sure there's other people saying the same thing. And it sounds like she got the message. But did she? Uh, it doesn't sound like she did. So let's kind of, let's keep watching. But then I found the music industry which is like taylor swift taylor swift is doing her concert so i was like oh great like i'm pre i'm not like i'm not printing her face on my t-shirt so like i feel like that's gonna be fine and i like i went to uspto and i searched trademarks like cruel summer is that trademark no um so i thought it was okay um and then i found um this country singer zach bryan that he was also very trending online and again this is why i feel stupid because i should have known i should have known that those things just for existing in the world are copywritten. Here's the thing we need to take away from this, okay? It is going to be tempting to see other people selling these types of items and making a lot of money, but not doing it legally and eventually getting shut down and sometimes getting sued, all right? So, I mean, Disney actually went out after some Etsy sellers and sued them. So you can go and you have to take all that money that you made and bring it back. Now, the one thing that she said was, well, she looked and seen if these certain sayings were trademarked, but here's what you have to understand. If there's a, if there's a saying that Taylor Swift or anyone 
made big and popular, people are buying it because of that person or that brand, no, it's off limits. Do not touch it because most likely they do have a trademark on it. Here's what you have to think about. If the person is buying the thing, the sweatshirt, whatever, with the saying on it because of the person that they're looking up to or the brand or whatever, just do it for Nike, right? Any of that stuff, you know that is wrong. So we do not wanna do that. So if you are watching this, please, new sellers, even seasoned sellers that might be struggling and you're saying like, well, everyone else is doing it, I'm just gonna do it. Don't do it, don't do it. Well, I don't wanna see a video like this of you, uh, of this happening, all right? So let's prevent this right now. Let's keep listening. I think we're gonna learn more though as to what happened. Um, I kind of knew, like I sort of knew, but I was just like, no, it's gonna be okay. It's fine, like it's not Disney. You know, I'm not trademarking on Disney. I should have known. Anyway. So I started um, being kind of successful in those two niches, which it was like printed. Uh, this is one of the sweatshirts. It's really cute too, but like, obviously I, like, I can't sell it. Um, it's like one of these. This is a Taylor Swift. They're both Taylor Swift. I have this other one that's also Taylor Swift. Yeah, any, I mean, gosh. If Taylor Swift, if you asked Taylor Swift that it would be okay for you to sell stuff that people are buying because of her, do you think that she'd be happy with you? Do you think that she would be okay with it? Do you think that the management would be okay with it? That's what you have to ask yourself. You just can't do it. It's just against the law. And Etsy is letting people do it. I'm not denying that. But it doesn't mean that you should be doing it because when they get hit, you're going to get hit, right? And that's kind of how it's always been. Now, I do think they're going to be cracking down on this even more. So please, please let this be a lesson. So these are song lyrics, basically. Um, song lyrics that Taylor Swift wrote. That's it. That's enough said, right? And I got a copyright like notice from Universe. I think Universal. Universal. You even got something from Universal. That's like even bigger than Etsy. That's crazy. Music or whatever. And I was like, oh, shit, sorry. So I took down all of my music things down. I okay, at that point, everything gets taken down. <laughs> like if it was if it was me, which it wouldn't have been because I'm not going down that road, man, oh man, like get everything out of the shop, right? Like just get it all out. I still kept Cruel Summer because I was like, there's no way Cruel Summer. I took out anything that said Taylor Swift, uh, but I still had this. But are people buying it because of Cruel Summer? Of course they are because it's Taylor Swift sweatshirt because this sweatshirt was a, was a bestseller and I was trying so desperately to be successful in Etsy and have a successful Etsy shop that I was like it's okay like it just says cruel summer there's no way that's copywritten but what she says here I think is really really important is that she said I desperately wanted to be successful on Etsy and whenever someone is desperate they're going to do things eh, that kind of that kind of are in that gray area, right? You can't allow yourself to get to that. There are more than just selling copyrighted trademark stuff to being successful. There's there's tons of sellers, including my wife and I. Like you do not have to go down that road. All right. So just be careful, please. And then stupid things like like this one. It says spooky season. Spooky season apparently is I think this is one the one that like Close my shop. I don't really know. Um, I had other designs kind of like this. It's a cute little crop top. I put it on t-shirts like this. This embroidered. And then I had like other like my own designs. But anyway, all of that, all of this is just like for goodwill. I don't really know what I'm going to do with that. Um, so yes, that basically is what happened. I then got the notice of copyright and then deactivate, they deactivate the, the listing. And then after they deactivate the listing, I think I got a copyright for the other one. Like I, I got some copyright basically. And I was like, okay, okay, like I'll take it down. I'll remove everything and anything that is um, Taylor Swift or Zach Bryan. And there's things like Merry and Bright for Christmas. I was so excited about Q4. I was really excited. I was like, oh, my, my business is picking up. I have in September, I've had about 6,000 sales um, dollars in revenue, not profit. I was running like Etsy ads, crazy. Like it was, it was just going. And then, um, and I see the email that like, 
your store has been permanently closed. You, we have warned you about copyright and um, basically this was our last draw. And I was like, I didn't even post anything like yesterday. Like, I don't- But wait a minute, but we did post things, right? So at this point, again, I'm, I'm not going to be like saying to her, like you, you knew better, but in a sense I kind of am because <laughs> I mean, they, they warned you, you had something from universal. If that doesn't show you that you're on the line or crossing the line, first off, don't sell this stuff. Anything that you think is in question, right? And a good filter to run it through is ask yourself, would someone be buying this because of some movie, some song, some artist, uh, you know, Disney, like any of that stuff, like you have to ask yourself those questions when you're running yourself through the filter. And for the most case, it's going to come back and say, don't sell that stuff. So please, the warning was there. The warnings were there. And she said she had multiple, multiple warnings. So, you know, I don't want to say, uh, you know, you knew better, but in so many words, you, you did, right? You did know better. And I feel terrible but the warnings were there. So the big lesson for her and for you, for me, is to, if you think that there's a possibility of you violating a trademark or a copyright, stay the heck away from it. 100%, stay away from it. I don't even know which one was like the last straw. Like I removed everything that was copyrighted and I posted something that I uploaded, a sweatshirt that was recorded. But she did say that she removed after she got the universal strike that she she removed that stuff, but she left Cruel Summer. So did you really remove all the stuff? I don't know, you know, that. but I'm just thinking now, you said you removed all the other stuff, but really you didn't just the universal stuff, I guess. You, you see what I'm saying, right? You have to understand that anything that's in question, anything, get it out of there. Chris Musty says, Mary and Brian, and I, trade, I searched trademark and it's only for pet products and I have it on a sweatshirt. And I was like, it cannot be because of that one because it ha it's not copyrighted for clothing. But here's the other thing. Let's say that you had a strike against you for a copyright thing, for a Taylor Swift thing, and they give you that warning, right? And then let's say that you have another complaint from someone else that says, hey, they're selling my design. My wife just recently had someone stealing her design. We had to file it and then we had to get them taken down. We did get them taken down, but there's not just trademark and copyright violations that could get you shut down. It could be you copying other people's designs. So that's another thing. But here's the deal. If you had two warnings about Taylor Swift or Zach Bryan or any of these other people, and then you had another one about a, a seller that's saying that you are copying their stuff, boom, you're gone. That's how I see it. Because they're like, this, this shop is having too many complaints. We got to shut them down. So that's the other thing you have to think about. It's not just the Taylor Swift and the Zach Bryant and all that stuff. It's all of the other things that are also maybe happening. And now you're going to be looked at, you know, a little bit closer. It's copywritten for, but Etsy doesn't care. Basically that something might be written, copywritten for candles or for car accessories. And you're putting on clothing. It doesn't matter. You are still being marked for copyright. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. There's still probably around five to six minutes left. And she just goes on to really just talk about the lesson that she learned and that she you know, is basically not going to be able to sell on Etsy now. She's going to start trying to sell on her own website and things like that. And maybe this, maybe this was a sign for her to do that anyway. The way I always look at it is like, okay, this doesn't mean that the door has fully closed on all your opportunities. It just closed the door on Etsy right now. Now, I don't know if there's a chance in the future that they'll let her sell on Etsy again, maybe, but for her, she may just want to look at this as a sign to go and start building her shop or her store on her own website using Shopify, like whatever. So listen, guys, I didn't want to create this video to put her in the spotlight and make her look bad. That is not my intention. My intention here is I have compassion for her. I have sympathy for her, but I also look at it as Listen, you were warned, okay? And now you have to pay the price. You have to pay the penalty. And hopefully, and by her recording this video, she's doing it to help more people. So I thought, you know what? Let me bring it to my audience to help my audience from her video. 
So I want to thank her. I don't know her personally. I want to thank her for publicly going out there and doing this because I think this is really, really important and it's going to help a lot of people. So I want to thank her personally. I will link up the video down below in the description, but please listen, you want to stay away from trademark copyright type stuff and never, never copy even just another seller that isn't a big brand, but they have created the art. They have created the design. Don't just rip someone off. It's just not ethical and you won't feel good about it because you're stealing from other people. So don't do that. Now I know there's some Etsy gurus out there and just videos in general that are saying to do this, to follow this model and just go after popular trends, including things like this here, Taylor Swift and the popular artists and things like that. We don't want to do that. What we do is we build a brand. And we really focus on one niche and then we build out product lines for a customer in that niche. If you want to see our approach and how we do it, I shot a video right here that walks you through. If I was to start an Etsy shop today, this is what I would do. Watch that video next and I'll see you there.